and welcome to a brand new Synth Sunset walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. Got to remember to look at the camera. Um, we're here today with a brand new Sunset for Zebra 2 and Zebra HZ. Now, I've been meaning to release this one for quite a while now. Uh, originally, it was supposed to come out in August, uh, but then various things stopped me from doing it then, and then again last month, and then, no, last month is August. I get confused. You see, this is why I can't release anything on time. Anyway, it's October now. It's September when I'm recording this, but it's October now when you're watching this. And uh, here we are with Zebra Nordsund 2. Now, for those of you with excellent memories, you'll recall that back in 2018, I'm not one with excellent memory, I think it was 2018, I released the original Nordsund, which was made up of sounds that I had created for the composers for season four of The Bridge, a fantastic Scandinoir, uh, Swedish stroke Danish co-production um, that has taken the world by storm. I think everyone loves it. Um, uh, sadly, it's finished now, the fourth series. Nothing to do with me. I don't think it was my fault that they didn't make another one. Um, and I've decided to do a follow-up because um, I love the Nordic noir sound so much and it's still very prevalent in a lot of music. And um, yeah, mainly because I just really wanted to do it because I love these sounds. So this is Norton 2, it's two new volumes. Uh, originally there was Blood and Gold, and now we have Dusk and Snow. Uh, this walkthrough is for Dusk. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what goes into uh, the sound set to make it a Dusk sound um, as we go through the patches. But let's dive straight in to Zebra 2 and start playing some lovely noises, shall we? Now there's 180 patches in each sound set and then that gets doubled when you get the dark edition. Um, so we're going to try to go through them, not, well not go through all of them basically, just skip through them. Relatively sanely. If I play you all 180 patches, we'll go mad. Uh, so, handful of arps, nice prinkly, prinkly, that's not a word, is it prinkly? Twinkly is better. So, Nords and Dusk, <laughs> I keep saying Dusk, because I'm <laughs> I feel like I need to pronounce things slightly Scandinavian, but Dusk, nobody says Dusk. Uh, Nords and Dusk is, um, it's about the vibe um, as darkness begins to fall, all the criminals come out, the secrets in suburbia begin to uh, emerge, and the detective starts dealing with the people, the, the criminals and the victims. That's the kind of vibe we're going for. So it's quite synthy this this particular sound set the dusk and there is a mixture of actiony stuff and um, underscore type stuff. but all of it's very atmospheric. sort of subdued uneasiness to everything. And lots of bass lines. Let's try the mod wheel.
bass lines has quite a lot of actiony stuff in there. Uh, so as well as being inspired by a lot of my Nordic Noir favourites, such as uh, The Bridge, obviously, uh, The Killing, Wallander, um, there's also uh, a lot of new stuff that I've been uh, watching and enjoying the music from, um, like Rebecca Martinson. And there I go, we're trying to pronounce things Swedishly again. Um, yep, and Valkyrian, the, the Norwegian drama, That's that's got a cracking soundtrack. So with it being called Dusk, there is a very, there's definitely some darkness to it. But as I mentioned, lots of atmosphere as well. We have a few drums. Nice and dramatic. A handful of keys. And we have a handful of leads as well. So there are there's, there's moments of you can get some uplifting stuff going on as well. It's not all just dark and brooding, although that's very much the sort of the Nordic noir detective in vibe. Um, there are moments where you can play slightly more um, pleasant stuff. You know, there's always those moments of emotion and um, you know family drama at the heart of all these things as well. Uh, so we've got a few loops. We've got some organic vibes going on here. And some big kicks to put deep underneath stuff. lovely filtered noise things to add a little bit of dynamism. So although it's quite um, synthy in many ways, this the, the Dusk's uh, volume of, of Nordsund, there's still sort of an element of respect to sort of a, the making synths feel a little more organic in the sense of um, these sounds are designed to tell stories, so there has to be a human element to them. They have to have that that sort of emotion. It can't just be cold. I do quite 
like doing sort of little drum breaks with Zebra. It's good fun. Nice seven eight sequence. Then of course there's pads. Of course there's pads. This is Zebra after all. tail on that one. Pad section is where you really begin to feel that that sense of humanity to the uh, the analog sounds. Is that little sort of move, little elements of movement and just the change and the almost like the abstract idiosyncrasies that you just build in there just to make it do something. Some nice wobbly atonal elements to that pad. As per usual, there's stuff programmed into the uh, the mod wheel and also um, into the XY pads on the uh, the performance page as well.
Um, there's some really nice demo tracks that are going to be great for you to, to do to really see what this can do. Show you how much depth there is to it. So what I like about this sound set is that um, you can use it to um, add to what you've already written. You know, Nordic Noir's very full of fragile strings and echoey piano, sometimes vocals, subtle drums and stuff, um, even guitars. And this complements that all really well. But at the same time, and you'll see this from the demo tracks that some of the great composers that I'm fortunate enough to work with have produced for me, um, that you can build up huge sonic textures and vast sort of, but subtle, uh, soundscapes with just a handful of these patches very quickly. I played that one as a pad. <laughs> I thought I stood in the pads. As a soundscape, generally only to be played with one <laughs> One note. Lots of fun, dark um, soundscapes here. Lots of movement without any of it being too over the top to, you know, just sit it in the background of your track and add a bit of extra interest. Lots of fun to be had with these patches. And we've got a handful of uh, sound effects style patches, which I've I don't often do, but I've introduced them a bit here. And then sequences, lots of sequences, because um, I think they're really useful for this um, type of music. Really worth listening to these patches on headphones or really good speakers, because I know you would, because you know you you do this too, you write music for a living too, um, well, and for hobby, but you know you take it seriously. Um, but you know, yeah, you're gonna lose a lot listening just on, on your phone if you're doing that right now. So there's a nice blend of organic and um, synthy in the sequence section. Again, trying to draw on that, that idea of bringing emotion to the synthiness. <laughs> Some elaborate and strange moments like this.
the module, doesn't this one? It just takes it down to the kick. Uh, so here's a new section for me. Um, one of the things that um, I really felt I needed to add to the Nordsund library, as it were, um, are some sort of proto stringy sounds. So, um, and this is partly inspired by um, uh, Flesk Quartetten, uh, or Flesh Quartet, who do quite a few um, Nordic noir soundtracks. They've done uh, some of the Wallander series, they did Blue Eyes. They do Blue Eyes, or have I made that up? Uh, do Thicker Than Water, anyway. And um, what their speciality is taking um, string instruments, sometimes string instruments they've built themselves, and then running them through um, effects and electronics and will you shush, Mr. Ambulance or Police Car, or whatever. Um, so I've, I've tried to make some sort of weird um, physically modeled string sounds, um, which I'm pretty happy with, but you know, let's see what you think, shall we? That is one of the more normal ones as it goes. Um, there are, there's more of them in the in the snow sound set, so we'll get to them on the other video. And then finally, we have a few synths, um, things where I don't know quite what I've created or what section should go. separate two version of Dusk. What we'll now do is we will uh, swap over to Zebra HZ and play some of these patches. Um, so strap yourself in for the second half of this video. So as per usual, um, this is basically just a darker, more analog sounding version of all the patches in the original sound set. Playing with the mod wheel there. Uh, so the original patches, uh, I bring them into Zebra HZ and then I optimize them and fiddle with them to create something a bit different, but also to uh, create um, a new vibe, I guess, for those of you that really like um, Zebra HZ. So it rarely means um, that there's an almost identical patch from one sound set to the other. I always try to bring something different to the original sound. Um, and sometimes I go completely miles away from the original sound and do something completely different. It all depends how I'm inspired at the time, really. to these patches. Noisier and more dramatic. And if you're looking to, uh, if you're using one of the Zebra 2 patches, for instance, and I just want something a bit more from this patch, then popping over and trying out the one in the, 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 the Dark Edition version is a good way to go. Let's see what we're going on here with the performance party, shall we? So we've got filter cut off. It's a 
fairly self-explanatory, then detune. That's much more subtle. Envelope. That's the kind of thing you've got going on with the XY pads. We're finding all the weird Apaches getting through this one. This is quite fun. <laughs> Keep forgetting to the camera, sorry. I know you're there, you know I'm I know you're there, but you know. That's definitely not going to come across on your phone. And keys. The keys do provide that sort of opportunity to have a slightly lighter moment, that's for sure. Oh, wasp, hello. Um, fine. Don't come near the microphone, will you? This is always a tricky one for me. Try to produce something that... I know in this kind of music, quite often, the, sort of the lead voice of a piece is taken by the, the solo string, or a piano, or even a vocal. Why is it every time I'm talking, I start touching my nose? Um, so doing something synthia is uh, its probably why I don't often have many of them in there, because I don't always think it's the right thing to do. Or they're more sort of something else to do your own sort of sequence with. Actually, drum be there. And there. All the echoes. Now, this <laughs> this uh, dark edition version isn't quite doesn't quite come across with the uh, the description there, which is more pertinent, should we say, to the Zebra 2 version, um, which is uh, quite fun to listen to. percussion there. All right, and more loops. So I caught myself listening to my own inner monologue there and uh, <laughs> forgot what I was doing. Uh-oh. 
got a senior moment, isn't it? Then into pads. Um, I've tried not to use the Diva filters too much on the pads because they do munch up the CPU quite a bit. And uh... you know, one has to try and keep these sounds usable. one isn't it? Presumably this next one isn't not a pretty thing. That's all right. Don't sell yourself short. Curious creature. Description, Matthew. Right, and now back into the soundscapes, which are always a treat on Zebra HZ.
as I mentioned before, this is one of my favourite sections. I just love the worlds you can build with this sort of sound in Zebra. So, you know, if your thing is the world of serial killers and kidnappers and all that sort of business, bank robbers. This is for you. It's not like there aren't enough police and detective drama series and documentaries. I mean, I love them, obviously. Um, I'm always inspired to make sounds for that kind of vibe, so... Long may it continue, and if you're working on them, then well done to you and good luck. And buy this. <laughs> There's another one of those SFX patches. back with the sequences. I try not to do too many of them, but sometimes they're quite fun to program. Um, and you can always change the, uh, the melodic nature of them in the arpeggiator section. We're, <laughs> we're picking up all these sort of noisy atonal ones here. Whereas we had the nice, when we were doing Zebra 2, we had the nice malady, glassy sounds, and now we're getting all the, the stuff that makes you go, ah! sound creeping in here and there. Here we go, this should be fun. Um, so this, <laughs> this patch is designed for doing very, very subtle and close together sort of um, portamento effects. But I know when I start, hit, when I first press this patch, it's gonna go mental. 
<laughs> there we go. Always recorrects itself when you first use it. So, <laughs> be aware of that. Um, so, that's what it's supposed to sound like. You've got two sounds, very similar sounds, sort of gliding at slightly different rates. But when you first play it, it always does that mad sort of, I'm correcting myself up an octave kind of thing. That's T-H-X-E, isn't it, I guess. So yes, that's um, that's Nordson Dusk. That's the first walkthrough done. Um, hope you like the sound of it. That sort of dark, rough and ready um, kind of mixture of analog and organic. So it's all about narrative, really. Um, creating the sounds that you can use to tell your stories. Um, and you can choose to put them up front or subtly in the background, but you can really, there's so much um, sort of texture and detail in there that, you know, you only need to use a handful of them to really get something cool going very quickly. And that's what this is designed to do. You can do all your um, beautiful melodic stuff with your strings and your pianos and whatever else you choose to do. And this is there to, to add that little bit behind it to um, make it more as it were. Or you could just go straight in and just bang a load of the loops together and just go boom, 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 action, um, if that's what you want to do. I won't stop you. So this is, um, as I say, 180 patches in the Zebra 2 version and the, um, the Zebra HZ version. So you get 360 patches when you buy the, the Dark Edition. Uh, it's going to be retailing for £24.99 plus VAT. That's the regular Zebra 2, the Dark Edition, 34 99 So you get all those extra patches for just a tenner. I am too good to you. Um, there's also going to be Snow, which is the fourth volume of Nordsund, which um, I'm going to do another walkthrough for. I will be doing a bundle so you can get Dusk and Snow together at a little bit of a discount. And if you've not stepped into the world of Nordsund at all, and you don't even have blood and gold, there will be a big... Um, Nordson bundle with all four Dark Edition sound sets, and you can buy all together at a nice saving um, for a limited period. Uh, it's not going to be out on my site forever. It'll be on there for a week or two around the time of this sale, which will be the end of October. So thank you very much for watching and listening and all that jazz. I'm going to go and edit this beauty together into some kind of coherent mess. Ta-ta for now. Bye.